Our key stakeholders in Nigeria have been urged to commit to ending open defecation with approximately 48 million Nigerians to practice in this uh, manners. This uh, was discussed in a media dialogue titled Ending Open Defecation in Nigeria and Elimination of Neglected Tropical Diseases, aiming to set a record. We have 48 million Nigerians defecating in the open, which is about 23% of the entire population that defecates in the open. And if we go further, we actually are looking at one out of every four persons defecating in the open in Nigeria. That is huge. And the campaign, uh, which was flagged off at that time, is to you know carry out a behavioral change campaign. Beyond the facilities, we also see that there are issues around behavioral change. So that campaign was actually, you know, it has a secretary to coordinate the activities of ending open education across the country. Now we're very, we're laser focused on tackling NTDs just because of the number of people that are affected. Globally, 1.6 billion people need treatment for one or more of these diseases. We have about 700 million Africans in need of treatment and in Nigeria we have over 165 million Nigerians in need of treatment for one or more so it could be more one or more of these diseases um, these diseases are preventable they are treatable they don't have to be death sentences they don't have to be life sentences Togo has eliminated four entities to date we can definitely do this the United Nations Children's Fund is dedicated to eradicating open defecation and promoting sustainable sanitation for health, economic growth and environmental resilience. Different things that Nigeria can do, but we really need to all work together. All of the government partners, all of the private sector, all of the state and LGA level, all of us, we need to work together to really try and uh, stop open defecation because it's killing so many children and uh, people are dying unnecessarily. Simple preventative measures, using the toilet, washing our hands, can really make a huge difference. The government, uh, UNICEF works very closely with the government and with the Clean Nigeria campaign to really um, uh, make a difference on the ground. We're working in several states. Uh, as, as has been discussed, we've already managed to achieve 126 open defecation-free LGAs uh, in the country, and there's many more that will now be coming up. Many of the neglected tropical diseases are transmitted through water or through poor sanitation. So as I mentioned in the panel, for example, polio is particularly a big issue uh, that is uh, always endemic in the country and in the ground. So unless we um, all practice safe sanitation and safe hygiene, there is a risk that we will all get more neglected tropical diseases. Uh, the speakers are actively seeking private sector collaboration to address open defecation. We really need to review this, put in place an improvement pattern on this policy, which will bring into perspective the roles of private sector, clear roles, the governance structure well mapped out in terms of who does what and at what stage and how the private sector can invest into the uh, eradication of open, de open defecation in this country and see ensure that we get, uh, we get the best out of it. My advice to them is that they should consult their people in their environment to do firstly meeting often and often, to enlighten them, to train them uh, the way they will provide toilet for their people. Secondly, uh, they should not allow people to sit on another person's seat. They should not allow people to sit in the bush or outside the houses. Everybody must provide toilet to his or her houses. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.